What's up, y'all? This is Daniel. And this your boy, Damo. Oh, oh. And this your boy, Levante. And this is the Born Leader Wrestling Podcast. Welcome everybody to the Born Leaders Wrestling Podcast. This is what it is, nigga. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's a heel turn. Nigga, I'm already a fucking heel since this nigga put candy on the table next to me. <laughs> hey, you know, I forgot all about that. Yeah, this is uh, look. We got uh uh to my right, Dan D Lo Brown, the real deal now. <laughs> what up, y'all? You know what it is. What's up? Don't forget the Y O. And don't forget the Y.O. <laughs> a nigga put in the comments, I won't forget the Y.O. Or some shit. <laughs> for real? Yeah, yeah for. some shit in the moment. To my left, your right, this is the nigga who hate kids. He fucking hate them. Damn. He, he just cussed out my son. Oh, your son cussed me out. No, he cussed at him. <laughs> yeah, he did. Because he, he was, he told you to go get a, a, a salad. <laughs> WWE Levante F. Smith. What up, what up? And I am L. Drunk Negro. I got it. I got it, my friend. He doesn't be saying anything. I don't know what the fuck I be saying. <laughs> it just sound cool. I'm drinking water today. I'm drinking lean. <laughs> <laughs> my body feel like... Damn, nigga, you have not had water in like five years. Damn. I'm about to like just pass out if you don't get some kind of water in your body. Why the fuck you haven't had water in five years? Because I'd be too busy drinking like monsters and wingmans and rock stars. And- hey, shout out to wingman. Wingman, <laughs> wing, wingman need to shit us a check. Because, you know, speaking of wingman. Next time I'm going to go to a hotel, I'm going to get like six of them. Because usually they was like a dollar or something. Yeah, they a dollar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They taste like. I mean. I'm trying to get a sponsorship, so live, you have to. <laughs> post a, post a bit like, they're great. <laughs> like live, you, you, can go, you can never go wrong with a wing, man. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> today's question is, this episode is brought to you by the Wrestling Guy Store for all your wrestling needs. <laughs> Crazy segment. <laughs> All your wrestling needs. You get the wrestling guy up on Wrestling Guy Store, at Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, MySpace. Anything that has a social media. Social media. You also hit him up at Huntington Park in Arizona at the Wrestling Guy Store. And right now he got Black Friday deals going on still. So go get your Black Friday. Go get your merch. And he's doing, um, he's doing um, Saturday. What is it called? Um Small business Saturday deals, so he's gonna have um, Black Friday deals till now to Friday. So then Saturday is gonna be small Saturday, small business Saturday deals, something like that. He do it every year, basically for small businesses. They he gives you deals. Oh, that's cool. So I'm going down there Saturday. If y'all um I'm going there Saturday after work, so probably like around one thirty-two. I'll be down there if y'all come. I'll meet up, you halfway. Hello. Huh? I meet you halfway. Like I'm coming home and that's halfway to the rest of us. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, shout out to Team Couponer. We got some questions from Team Couponer. Team Couponer. What the fucking leader? He said, um, best version of the, each wrestler, who will win, Bret Hart or John Cena? And he said, also, congratulations on 1,100 subs. Oh, hell yeah. Well, we won a one? Yep. One and one? Some change? There's some change. You got some change on there. Um, I'm going with <laughs> Bret Hart. Hands down, Bret Hart. Bret Hart, yeah. I'm not a fan of Cena. I don't know why they keep putting Cena as a GOAT. And all this. I think they... But Cena even went on some kind of um, talk show and said, I didn't make that name up. I don't consider myself. Michael Cole made that shit up. Oh. Well, there you go. Um... He said, your thoughts on Bailey's, I mean, not Bailey's, Becky Lynch's performance on Jeopardy. Y'all seen that? She yeah, got like she every lost. question wrong or something. Like she yeah, she owed them money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't get nothing right or something. <laughs> I think she got one answer right, but she was always like in a negative or something. Yeah. Hey, look. What is? Stop answering the goddamn questions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what did that remind me of? Uh, Not to change subjects, but I am. You know how like immigrants come in the United States, they ask them, Questions to be a U.S. citizen. Yeah. They asked some shit like, "Who was the 14th president?" 
And who was the all the capitals of all the states? Mm. Nigga, we don't know that shit. We don't know that I was shit. Gonna say that. I hope they we don't know that, that shit. shit. And that's what that remind me of. Yeah. Is like they asked Bailey all these, uh, uh, Becky. Becky all these motherfucking questions. It's like no, but why did she? Uh, why did she click the clicker to answer the question? She didn't know this shit. It's like, I don't even know why she was on there because no, usually when they do that, be other WWE superstars on there. It's like make it fun and stuff. Yeah. It was just her and like some random people, I believe. I know it was for charity. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but it was like no other WWE superstars on there. Man. That was a trick. They should have uh, checked the questions. You know, like hey, ask me like who who is the best or something like some yeah. shit. You know, like they who, asked her some real who, questions. Who won the fucking Royal Rumble in 1995 or something? Shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> she read. She was on real Jeopardy. Yeah. <laughs> they who was won, who won Royal Rumble in 1995. See, I wish you put me on the spot. Was it Sean? 96 was Sean retired, right? Or it was Austin, one of them. Yeah. No, it wasn't Austin 95. I'm not good with dates. I believe it was Sean. But Tina, keep on it. Now he go correct us yeah. in the comments because you want to bring that yeah. up. You don't want to ask that random ass question. I was asking it for Becky, not us. <laughs> <laughs> She's don't go here. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, she she was trash on there. <laughs> he said, "If Levante and Bianca had a red reality show together, what would it be named? What would it be called?" I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> a player and a trick. She'll be the trick. I mean, the player. Yeah, <laughs> I'll your ass it. gonna be tricking like a motherfucker. I'll take it. <laughs> I couldn't come up with nothing better than that. You should have asked me that. They gave me that question earlier today, so I could think of it. I mean, we doing it early. We doing the podcast early. I don't have time to do anything, which is a good thing. So I can go home and go to sleep before I edit. That's true. <laughs> uh, if Damo and Daniel become a tag team, what would the tag team name be? The D's pause. <laughs> You don't do no more abbreviation of nothing. <laughs> not a damn not thing. Not a damn thing. <laughs> the double D's. <laughs> Whoa. Double D's is titties. No. <laughs> Even worse. Titties? This is niggas wildin', son. What the uh, fuck is he talking about? Niggas with a podcast. <laughs> uh, um, the 1800s? Uh, yes. <laughs> Fucked up hairlines. <laughs> <laughs> Slope. <laughs> the uh, alcoholics. Yeah. Oh, y'all can do the alcoholics. Uh, uh, I was going to say something else, but never mind. Say it. <laughs> the, the alcoholics and the DUIs. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> you hit the button. And, <laughs> and, and, and. Nigga, Whoa. the fucking born leaders, nigga. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <Okay. laughs> nigga, it be, he's a rapper, nigga, and I'm a postal worker. <laughs> <laughs> Two niggas with a job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, then he also said congratulations on the- Black niggas working. On the 1K. B- BMW. <laughs> What's that? Black man working. Okay. I don't know y'all go trademark that, but black man working and just use the abbreviation. You know, you go with abbreviations, right? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to DP. (laughs) (laughs) We got a question from Uni. What? Yep, Uni said in honor of Damo being unmasked, unmasked, will Rey Mysterio be unmasked in WWE? He was yeah. already a mess. I think so. In WWE, though. Yes, he was. And he said, "Will it be um, um, Escobar doing a massing?" He never got a mass in WWE. And amassed three times in his career. One was in WWE. When? Uh, you, gonna, you gonna say something crazy? I gotta pull it up because I seen it. That's why. That's all. I know. I think like his mask got ripped. Yeah, I never it seen that. Ripped, but I don't think. Yeah. You know, anyway. Um, <laughs> but I do, I do. If he do get unmasked, uh, I did. It'd be Dominic. I don't think it'd be Escobar. It, it'd be one of the two. 
I think because he has a few with uh, Escobar right now, they could throw that shit in because it's like some legacy respect type shit. But Ray not coming back for a while. He got oh, yeah, he really got, got that shit. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I said when he do come back, I think he go. They go through like the part two of him and Dominic some kind of. Ain't way. that some shit? You trying to start a rivalry with fucking Escobar and Ray? Did Ray get hurt? I know that's cold. And and Escobar deliberately put his leg in front of the fucking uh still uh, still on, on chairs. Like Escobar fucked up. Cause I don't know if you saw it. Ray leg was in between the yeah. fucking and he hit that shit. Prayers for Ray Mysterio. Yeah. He already oh, had a surgery already. Yeah. Faster recovery. <laughs> he did at home like, babe, you get some 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 eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling in the Gucci shirt. You got your what's name? Find it. Oh yeah, I'm pretty. But it's crazy. on there though. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna uh, next episode. Yeah, um, <laughs> for the Miz took it off in 2000 in 2022. But his was his face show. No, not that one. But I can tell you that that happened. But it no. was it's a couple times we got it took off though. Um, what was the question? Um, do you see women still being unmasked? Yeah, and if it, if he did, would it be Escobar? No, I don't see him getting unmasked again. Because they got so, it's a whole tradition when it comes down to the unmasking thing. Like when you really get unmasked and you have to carry it, you're supposed to go to a board or something, the luchador board, or some shit and, re- and request it. And God damn, it's a video. It's, game. it's like for real, for real. It's like some it's some whole little shit. Yeah. And once you get unmasked, you post you can never not supposed to ever put on a mask again. But you yeah on the mask because they saying like usually when you in your career it's like a hair for mask type thing. Yeah, and he wants to do that shit with uh, Dominic. Yeah, so that's why I think like. It'll be his retirement match. It's gonna when he did a match. It's gonna be his retirement match. Um, I don't think WWE gonna allow that to happen. Though. I mean, he retiring in now. a retirement. Match? You're already in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he, yeah, but you know how much that mask still sell? We want to bring him back as a legend. You gonna bring him back as a legend? Ain't like that. So you want this nigga for his whole life walking around with a mask on? Hey, look, Undertaker walked around like dead man forever. I mean, he be on Instagram sometimes. His wife posts him. You see, show his face. Yeah, it's like it's not like the '90s no more. Nigga old. <laughs> um, shout out to Tommy. Tommy got some questions. Tommy, Tommy back on his um his surgery he was like he back doing podcasting. Yeah, shout yeah, out he to snapped back yeah. better, way better than them girls who got their BBL in, in the <laughs> pandemic. Shout out to Tommy. That, that motherfucker, <coughs> he didn't even fucking stop. Man, it, I wonder what kind of surgery he had. <coughs> or was it like a lap band, or was it? It wasn't gastro bypass. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Might be thinking about it. They got the new shit now. You just, it's like one day type shit. Remember yeah. back in the days, you had to stay in the hospital for 15 days. And- Hell yeah, that mashed potatoes and gravy. I don't know what people, <laughs> people hate mashed at hospital food, but mashed potatoes yeah. and gravy in the hospital. They got to drive through surgeries now. You did drive in? That shit didn't go. I mean, when I had fucking got the. Hey, the let me stones. get number one. Fucking super size. <laughs> he said, what? I don't remember. He said, what was the worst War Games match <laughs> of all time? Wasn't it like WCW once said like they the like the seal was the ceiling was so fucking close to the fucking the Sid Vicious was hitting his head. Yeah, I didn't like that one. I didn't like the one with, when fucking Kevin Ash was laying on the floor like this the whole time. It was a, a NWO or whatever. I think Ultimate Warrior came back that <laughs> at that to chase Hulk Hogan and Teddy Cage up, but uh, Kevin Nash was just laying on the floor the whole match. <laughs> I didn't really. That's the that's the only one I seen in WCW. The WWE ones has been good. I haven't seen a bad WWE one yet. Been two. Well, they had them in NXT oh, first. I think it's, it's only bad with, with the fucking rules to it. When they start fighting, do everybody come out? Then they start. That's what makes it bad to me. No, I like that because like if you got two on one, then of course you could beat the fuck out of that one and pin them and get them out of here or win the match. Like you can't start the matches until everybody's in there. So yeah. I understand the rules. You need a process of elimination. It need to be elimination. Something. To, to, no, because at the end, if you fucking, if, if it's two on one, because at a certain point, it's going to be two on one, you beat the fuck out of her and pin her, and then you wait for the next one to come in, and then you beat the fuck out of them and pin Like, it, it wouldn't make sense. No, but even, no, 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 I'm saying at the end. If you do it at the beginning, where everybody got to come in to start the match, it should be, okay, nail everybody in. Now you can eliminate them out to get the uh, uh, advantage towards the end. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun though. That'd be like a Royal Rumble, but pinning. Yeah, but but it, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, even on 2K, that shit is ass. On WWE 2K? Oh well, yeah, because you could pin it to a video game. 
No, because it's like you whooping the motherfucker ass. Uh, uh, and then when the first person come in, you hit that motherfucker with finisher. You pin this motherfucker. You just hit with finisher. Game over. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how it'd be in real life. If it was, if it was like that shit. Um, his one, his next one was the best war games ever. I would say the female version NXT. When they that one, uh, 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 Bianca I, and um, Eel Sky jump from the yeah, and all that shit. That was the best one. I, I don't have recollections of, of, of the rest of them. All I know is the bad ones and the cool ones. I mean, the Bloodline storyline was pretty good for that me. That one was good, too. Yep. Which one was just, That's the only one I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that one, shit. I like <laughs> Rita Ripley, how she was fucking them motherfuckers up, but I don't like that, that you know, at her joint damage control and shit. I ain't like that part. Uh, who was your biggest WWE Divas crush? That was like the Divas area. Uh-huh. era. Come on, now. You already know. Who, Jacqueline. She <laughs> like jazz. <laughs> you like jazz? Damn. They don't look like that. Jazz? <laughs> nah, nigga. Who? Trish? Trish Stratus, nigga. <laughs> I still got her pictures in my phone to this day. You don't. Motherfucker, what? I think, um, if we don't count Sable, because that wasn't Divas, right? That was like the beginning. So yeah. you can't count Sable. If you can't count Sable, I'm going to say Nikki Bella. Does that count? That's kind of late. Yeah. No, she was a Divas champion. Yeah, but okay, but when you were watching that as a kid, though, because it's Crush. At this point, it's not. But he a, said Diva. Crush. But Crush, like, Nikki Bella was your Crush. Hell Nikki, yeah. That was she was somebody who was just cute. No. Nah, she ain't Nikki, no Crush. Nah. Nikki Bella was like, Nikki oh, yeah, Bella she was. cute, but, but nah, yo. She wasn't better you than You 20, Trish. you like, what, 20 something? You, you already old already. Nigga, I'm talking about like, Crush, like, when you was a kid and you see him on TV and shit. Okay, well, let me reword it. What diva did she want to fuck? <laughs> no, that's, your, that's easy. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> right, like right now, <laughs> the whole NXT fucking roster. But that's, not, that's not diva. And era. Samantha Irwin. You can't count that. It's not exactly. Diva. But like, but but they're divas. No, hell yeah. no. You call them a diva, they go get mad. Or Trish Stratus. For Trish sure. Stratus off the top. Cause she's the only one I thought of. of, of but see, that's the still that's an era of cause. But you, but well, Sable was before Trish, so yeah, oh. that's what I'm saying. I can't count Trish. Hold on, but that diva, but but that, hold on, but if, divas, if you look no, at the diva, era, though. Yeah. if you look at the diva magazine, the diva issues of everything, uh, Stacey Heber was in there, Tori, all of them was divas. Yeah, that was a diva era. Okay, yeah. well give me all of them. Yeah. Now <laughs> the one that I, I would have fucked was the Tori and DX. I don't know. She didn't have something like 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 she'll suck the dick anywhere, <laughs> for real. Like it was just something to powder, dog. I didn't like her face, nigga. Who care, nigga? She looked like she was ready to fuck. You <laughs> like her body? It turns you on. No, I didn't like the body either. Like, Trish Stratus seemed like you you could marry her, and but she still fuck the shit out of you. Nah, I Trish Stratus seemed like she had, like your mama at a one point. But, nigga, Nikki game. Bella was was Bianca before but, Bianca. Oh, but Nikki, Nikki Bella only Nikki. But, but see, but that was after she got her titty, her titties done, right? No, I always liked the Nikki. Nigga, they ain't twins, nigga. No, nah, they they. But they had to stand different. out, nigga. When, when you saw the though. titties, you're like, you know what, Nikki is kind of cute. But Nikki, little, but she looked different every day. That done. Exactly. Yeah, she got titties, nigga. No, even before. So she did a different makeup. What's wrong with Bree? There you go. Huh? Bree, she cute. Nothing too. wrong with Bree. I like Bree better yeah. than I like Nikki. But I like Nikki attitude better. It's put it like that then. The way she carried herself was different. Then Bree was just like a little princess. I like, start recognizing uh, <laughs> uh, Nikki when I saw her titties grow. <laughs> well, of course, yeah. Everybody started recognizing China when her titties grew. Oh, and yeah. Stephanie. First of all, ain't nobody paying attention to China. At the end, they no, did. No, no. China did. She did her fucking surgery on her face yeah, or whatever. Yeah, at the end she did. She kept, yo, China was looking good for she a minute. She looked like a woman after that. Hell yeah. Nigga, don't shoot like a, uh, shoot like a woman. Don't shoot like a man. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> that shit, man. That whole Mama Sita shit when she started wearing purple. Nigga, that was real ripping well, right no, there. Well, no, when she started going on a date with... Uh, um, um, Mark Henry. Mark Henry. That's yes. when she started looking like yeah. a, a, a female. After that Playboy fucking magazine. Who is the worst general manager of all time? That is a good question. Ooh. Wasn't JBL a general manager? I think so. Damn. Matter of fact, nope. I think it was that, that damn computer shit. Adam Pierce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the fucking, uh, the, the, the computer. Yeah. Doop, doop. <laughs> we have a message. Yeah. Anonymous genuine uh, general uh-huh. manager. That was some dumb shit. Adam Pierce. He actually, even though he blocked me, he started to be funny now. No, so you, so you teaming up with the ops? I'm thinking. Well, I mean, I don't get mad when people block me. 
<laughs> yeah, you heard you heard the it's request from my motherfucking uh <laughs> executive producer. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you. JT, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> JT. I said Ric Flair. He was oh what? he was. He yeah, was you're all crazy. I said Ric Flair. Who? Turned to Austin? Because uh, I can think about nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, and like, everybody else pretty good. Uh, 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 Eddie Girl wife. Vicky. Vicky. Oh, Vicky. she was funny. Excuse, Excuse me. <laughs> Why nah, you? no, that was a perfect one because you could fuck her and get a title shot. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't dare. That was Edge did. Y'all wouldn't dare say Teddy Long. Hell no, nigga. Yo, if I say something about Teddy Long, guess what he going to do? Put you Call in the back of the table. I didn't take your nigga. <laughs> so fuck. <laughs> hey, I bet he was mad. Undertaker, God damn, I, I gotta fight every single nigga. <laughs> uh, his last question is: Do you think William William Rigo is underrated? Yes. Hell yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna go opposite. I think he overrated. For real? You, William Rigo? You like fucking Mister Perfect? Like, and then you not get, like, I don't even want, I don't William talk. Regal, Steven Regal, whatever you want to call him. If you want to talk about his wrestling ability, how he wrestled, he just like any, like a, a, a Kurt Henning or anybody else. Yeah, he, he had the same technique, that he, maybe even better. I'm so glad you called him Kurt Henning, because Kurt Henning. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Perfect. I, I'm not was down. Terrible. I, you know, Kurt Henning, you know what I'm saying? Like, William Regal was one of, not the greatest, but he was a good in ring uh, wrestler, dog. Only why I said it because, as y'all know, I was in the WCW guy. So when I got introduced to him, it was Steven Regal. Yeah. And he was like the mate, the man gimmick or what. He was like, I'm <laughs> the a real, real man. man. Yeah. And I'm like, who is this guy? Like, hey, but I think every everybody had a fucked up gimmick at one point. Yeah. Mr. Tom Michaels had fucking tassels on his arm. <laughs> tassels, nigga. <laughs> and running. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you can't do the Beyond. <laughs> he had tassels, nigga. Nigga, uh, what you call was fucked up too. Ooh. Oh fuck, I forgot. You started talking about the tassels, so I forgot. Um, but that's all our questions. Um, I did want to get to ten. Shout out to Ten Key Finder. He went on Twitter, yeah, and he added Top Dollar. I forgot his name. Yeah, Fran- Franco or something. Yeah, like that. he going to. But pay. he added Top Dollar, and he said, um, "Actually, let me go to the tweet. I don't want to." Don't misquote this shit. Yeah. At Damo wants to uh, basically challenge you for uh, a battle, a rap battle. Uh-huh. And then uh, t- um, Top Dollar said, all right, um, is he going to pay my fee? I guess he got like a rapping yeah. fee or whatever. Yeah. So then T uh, Coupon added me. It was like, hey, at Levante, tell him your fee, and then we can get it, you know, yeah. processed or whatever. But the nigga never added me for a fee. <laughs> So, I don't know. Yo, we might have it right here. Hey, get it closer and closer. Damo BBE is challenging (laughs) AJ Francisco, whatever, Francis, 140. I mean, 410. I'm sorry, I can't say. I'm dyslexic. To a rap battle. Will he accept the challenge? He He paying my rate. Give Levante the information. Bro, that nigga blocked the fuck out of you because some yeah, kind of way like, he feel that you were me and I am him. <laughs> <laughs> but never forget, wrestling is for niggas. And that right there is the greatest nigga of all time. Yeah!